I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before, though I don't think I want to play any after the experience I had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed until I noticed out of my peripheral vision that the mailman had arrived and put something in my mailbox as usual and left. I paused the game to go see what I got in the mail. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took it inside. I looked at the note first and realized it was from my dear friend Kyle, whom I haven't heard from in two weeks. I know that because I recognized his handwriting. Though I what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written and scratchy, somewhat difficult to read, as if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. Tom, I can't take it anymore. I have to get rid of this somehow before it was too late. And I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me. And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc and you'll destroy him, but do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play this game. That's what he wants. Just destroy it, please. Kyle. Well, that was certainly weird. Even though Kyle is my best friend, I haven't seen him in two weeks. I didn't do what he asked me. I didn't think that a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. After all, it's a game, right? Boy, I was wrong about that. Anyway, I looked at the disc and it looks like any ordinary computer CDR disc except it had black marker written Sonic.exe and it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting. <laughs> Meaning that he must have gotten it somewhere else like a pawn shop or eBay. When I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually excited and wanted to play it since I'm a big Sonic fan. <clears throat> I went up to my room and turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed that it was the first Sonic game. I was like awesome because I said earlier I liked the classics. The first thing I noticed that was out of place when I pressed start, there was a split second when I saw the, the title image turned into something much different, something that I now consider horrifying before cutting to black. I remember what the image looked like in that split second before the game cut to black. The sky had darkened, the title was rusted and ruined, the Sega's 1991 was was replaced with Sega with the triple six, and the water had turned red, like blood, except it looked hyper-realistic. But the freakiest thing in, in that split second was, was Sonic and his eyes. They were pitch black and bleeding, with two glowing red dots staring right at me, and his smile was stretched wider up to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about that image when I saw though I figured that it was just a glitch and forgot all about it. After it cut to black, it stayed like that for about 10 seconds or so. And then another weird thing happened. The saved file from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up. I was like, what's this doing in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something off. The background was dark, cloudy sky of Bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD. And there was only three saved files. The music was that creepy caverns of winter music from Earthbound, only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. And the image for the saved file, where you see a preview of the level you're on is just red static for all the three files. What freaked me out was the character select. It only showed Tails, Knuckles, and to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. 
Now, I was sure that something was up. I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game? For crying out loud. That was when I realized this wasn't a glitchy game. It was a hacked game. It looked hacked, definitely. It was really creepy, but as a smart gamer, I wasn't scared. I told myself that it was just a hacked game, and there's nothing wrong. Anyways, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file 1 and chose Tails. When I selected and got started, the game froze for about 5 seconds. Then I heard a creepy pixelated laugh that sounded an awful like, like that Kafka guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. The screen stayed for about 10 seconds or more. Then it showed the typical level thing, except for simply simplistic shapes were all different shades of red and the text only showed hill act one the screen faded and the level title vanished revealing tales in the green hill zone from sonic one the music was different though it sounded like peaceful melody in reverse anyway i started playing and had tales start running like you would do with any of the classic sonic games what was odd was that as Tails was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for 5 minutes. That was then when the peaceful started to lower down into a slow deep tones very slowly as I kept going. I suddenly saw something and stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on the ground, bleeding. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face that I never saw him have before. So I have him move along, and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals as tails moved past them looking more and more worried. As the music lowers and he moves past more dead animals, I was shocked to see that they all died, looking like somebody killed them in rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanged on a tree with what appeared to be his entrails hanging out. A bunny had four of his limbs torn off, and a duck had his eyes googed out and his throat slit. I felt sick to my stomach. When I saw a massacre apparently, so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there was no more animals and the music seemed to have stopped. I still kept Tails to continue. After a minute passed after the music stopped, Tails was running up the hill until he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why, Sonic was there on the other side of the screen, with his back against Tails. Tails with his eyes closed. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile flattered, obviously not no noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him. If not acting as if he was totally obvious of Tails' presence, Tails walked slowly towards Sonic. And I noticed that I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move. So this had been a cutscene. Suddenly, I began to have a growing feeling of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger and something bad was gonna happen. I heard faint static growing louder as Tails but inches away from Sonic and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. The the foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. Suddenly, a split second where I saw Sonic's eyes open and they were black with those red glowing dots, just like in that image. Thought there, was, there wasn't a smile. When that happened, the screen turned black and the static sound was off. It stayed black for about 7 seconds, then the white text appeared, forming a message. Hello, do you want to play with me? At this point, I was creeped out. I didn't want to continue with this game, but my curiosity got the better of me when I was taken to a different level, with a level title now saying, Hide and Seek. This time, I was in the Angel Island from Sonic 3, and looked like everything was on fire. 
Tails looked as though he was scared out of his time. He actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in as fast as possible. I started getting freaked out by this. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down the arrow keys as hard as I could and made him run as fast as he could. A pixelated version of that creepy theme when you meet Shadow at the Ark as Robotnik from the SA2. Playing as I made Tails trek through the desolate forest, trying to help me escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly, I heard that creepy laugh again, that awful Kafka laugh right after 10 seconds I have passed and I helped Tails run through the forest. Then I started seeing flashes of Sonic popping up everywhere on the screen, again with those black red eyes. The music changed to that suspenseful drowning jingle as I see Sonic behind tail slowly gaining up on him, flying. Sonic wasn't running, he was actually flying. The flying pose his sprite was making look very familiar to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD. Except it was just Sonic and he had the black and red eyes again only. This time, he had the most Derang deranged looking grin on his face. He looked as though he was enjoying the torment he was giving the poor little fox as he gained up on him. Suddenly when Tails tripped, another cutscene, the music stopped and Sonic vanished. Tails laid there and started crying for 15 seconds. The scene was rather upsetting to watch. I kind of teared myself up but then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails and looked up in horror. Blood started to come out of those blackened eyes of Sonic and a grin slowly grew from his face. He looked down at the horrified fox. I could not do anything but watch. Just a split second, Sonic lunged at, at Tails right before the screen went black. There was a loud screeching noise for only that lasted 5 seconds. The text returned only this time it said, You are too slow. Wanna try again? And that god awful laugh came with it. I was so shocked by what happened. Did Sonic murder Tails? No, he could not have. He and Tails were supposed to be best friends, right? Why did Sonic do that to him? I shook the shock off as I was brought back to the character select. The saved file had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but in the TV screen itself, which was flickering with that red static. Tails' expression scared me. His eyes were black and bleeding. His orange fur had gone black, and he had entered an expression of anguish on his face, trying to ignore it. I picked Knuckles next. The laugh came again and the screen cut to black again and stayed there for another 10 seconds. This time it said, you can't run. I was really freaked out now. I couldn't really tell if it was a glitch or a hack or some kind of sick twisted joke or anything really. But despite my fear of what happened next, I kept playing. The next level looked much different. It had the ground of a scrap brain zone, but the sky background looked like the main menu. It had dark reddish cloudy sky, but it was the music that creeped me out the most. It sounded like the Gia's theme after you beat Pokey in the Earthbound. I also noticed that Knuckles looked afraid, just like Tails did. Through not as much, more rather, he looked like a, an unnerved. He broke the fourth wall just like Tails and looked as if he wasn't sure what's going on, but I made him move anyway. He ran, up, he ran down the straight pathway in this dark level, and as he did, the screen started to flicker a red static couple of times, and then a mending laugh came again. Then after a few seconds of running, I noticed several blood stains on the metallic ground. I felt a growing sense of fear again, thinking something horrible is gonna happen to Knuckles. He looked not seated walking down this blood-stained road 
but I still kept him going. Suddenly, as Knuckles ran, Sonic appeared right in front of him with those black and red eyes, and that static appeared again. When the static vanished, showing nothing but black screen with a text saying, Found you. I was now scared. Sonic found Knuckles already. What was going on? Anyway, red static came again, and then I was back to the level. Knuckles looked like he was panicking, and Sonic was nowhere to be found. And this time, that high-pitched squealing from that silent hill final boss was playing. Was this some kind of boss with Sonic? I hope to god it wasn't, honestly. Suddenly, Sonic appeared right in front of Knuckles. In what appeared to be a pixelated black smoke, I made Knuckles turn and then and then punch Sonic. But Sonic vanished in a pixelated smoke before I could even land a hit. The terrible laugh went off again. Then Sonic appeared behind Knuckles again and then I made him punch again and Sonic vanished again laughing. Knuckles was panicking even more. And even, I felt like it was going crazy. Sonic was practically playing with us. He was playing a sick, quit, twisted little mind with me and Knuckles. Another cutscene was played as Knuckles fell to his knees and clutched, his head sobbing. I felt his agony. Sonic was actually driving us both crazy. And then in a split second, lunged at Knuckles and the screen went black with another distorting screeching noise that lasted for at least 3 seconds. Another text appeared. So many souls to play with. So little time, would you agree? What the hell just was going on? I started to think Sonic was actually trying to talk me through the game, but I was too scared to think that. I was brought back to the main menu and this time, the second file box had Knuckles in the TV screen and his red fur had darkened to a reddish gray. His dreadlocks were dripping with blood and his eyes were black and bleeding too. And he had a look of sadness on his face. I began to think that those are actual characters trapped in those TV screens of the saved files. But I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So I shut off the game and took a break. I took a nap, which I hadn't, cause then I began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch black darkness, though I was under the light given off by a lamp that hung above my head. I could hear the cries of knuckles and tails, they were saying stuff like, help us, and why did you give us to him, and run away before he gets to you. Their cries died out. And then I heard Sonic laugh. His laugh sounded like a distorted Kefka laugh. You're a lot fun to play with, kid. Just like your friend Kyle, though he didn't last long. I was scared and looking around for the source of the voice. Won't be long now until you join him and all of my friends. I saw him walking toward me, flickering in in several directions. You can't run, kid. You're in my world now, just like others. When he grabbed me, and I saw his bleeding, black and red-eyed, grinning face, I woke up with a fright. After a couple hours, I decided to continue playing the game. I don't know why, but I had to know. I had to figure out why this was happening. So I turned on the computer, turned on the game, and selected Robotnik next. I still thought that was wacky, playing as Robotnik. But anyway, the level title appeared again, and this time it said a triple dot, which I found really freaky. This time, I was in some kind of hallway. I didn't really look like it was from any of the classic Sonic games. Though it was a pixelated style, the floor was shiny and checkered, the walls were dark grayish purple with animated candlelight, and a few dark blood stains here and there. And there was a dark red curtain hanging above the top part of the screen. Every 12 seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly. But whatever you're playing the game, you can barely see it move. 
The music was oddly pleasant, a piano playing rather than a sad yet peaceful song. But I knew better, this was the song that played in Hill, Act 1, only it wasn't in reverse. Robotnik didn't look entirely nervous like Tails and Knuckles did, but he did have a suspicious look on his face, as if he was a bit paranoid. He did a little animation when I left him standing. He turns his head to the left and then to the right, at least twice, and then he shrugs at me as if he had no idea where he was or what was going on. Even though I was scared out of my mind about what was going to happen, I had Robotnik continue onward. He did his actual usual animation. As we continued going through the hallway, then I stopped at a long flight of stairs leading downward. Now I felt nervous, even Robotnik seemed unsure himself, though I pressed onward. As I led Robotnik down the stairs, I noticed that the walls have gotten darker and more reddish. The red torches are now an eerie blue light. Then when I landed onto another hallway, this one was longer than the last one. And then we headed down another flight stairs down, which was much longer. It took at least one full minute. And then I heard horrifi horrified Kefka laugh again. And then the music slowly faded until it was quiet. As it did, the walls turned more dark and the torches were a black flame now. When Robotnik landed onto the three hallway, I was noticed he was looked really creeped out. Though he tried to hide it, I couldn't blame him. I was scared too. Suddenly, Sonic popped up right in front of Robotnik in the same way he did as, as Knuckles and the Red Static. The Red Static lasted for 15 seconds and then it showed me a most unpleasant image. This image showed the hyper-realistic of Sonic standing in the darkness as you would see where you can only see his face while his head and torso faded to black. And when I say hyper-realistic, I mean he looked so real you could actually see the lines in his blue fur. As if you could actually feel the fur if you touched the screen. His face, he had the most horrifying smile I've ever seen. And that's saying something considering I saw that image at the start of the game. His eyes were wide and black once again, crying blood. And there were two small glowing red dots in this black eye staring right at me. As if staring into my mind, his grin was wide demonic. His, it's literally stretched to the sides of his face like a chest, chest tire cat, except for Sonic had fangs very sharp fangs, much like a werehog teeth, except more vicious looking, somewhat yellowish and from the look of it, he had stains of blood and small bits of flesh on his lips and fangs as if he ate some animal. I started at that gruesome image for a good 30 seconds, never taking my eyes off it. I felt as if he was actually looking at me, smiling at me, that face, it took 10 seconds for it to etch itself into my brain for good. That screen flickered with that red static again three times, and on the third time I heard that Kefka laugh, except this time it sounded distorted and demonic even. It went to that black image except this time there was a text again and it was messed up, but it, it was pretty much one of the most horrifying things I looked at since I had this game. It was when I read that message, looking at it when Sonic hit me, I realized there and then. This was a Sonic monster, a pure evil, sadistic, and powerful nightmarish demented monster, and all of his victims including Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, and possibly Kyle, are just his little toys and the game had a very gateway into his chaotic nightmarish world 
as the very hell in his victims are trapped in. Suddenly, an actual split second as I screamed, a sonic lunged at the screen, screeching loudly with his mouth wide open to an unnatural length, revealing nothing but a really spiraling abyss of pure darkness before the red static came again, this time much louder distorted, so loud that it hurt my ears. I yelled and grabbed my my ears as the red static screeched for a good 7 seconds. Then it stopped, showing nothing but a black screen. As I sat there, staring at the black screen, one last text came up. Ready for round 2, Tom? The Kefka laugh now sounding more clear, as if the Sonic was right behind me. Played again three times as I looked at next in the shock and confusion. Then I booted back to the main menu. This time, the third saved file had a TV image of Robotnik in the same, tormented, state as tails and knuckles. Robotnik's skin turned off to a dull gray, and his mustache dropped, and his had blackened, glasses broke, and blood coming from them, and he had a mere dead-like expression on his face. I looked at Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik as I cried a bit. I pitied them for the agony they've been going through. They were forever trapped within that game, forever tormented by that horrid hedgehog, and will always be. The computer shut itself off. I couldn't turn it back on no matter what I did. I sat there maybe for 25 seconds, horrified what, by what, was, what just happened. Sonic was the very embodiment of evil. He tortures people who play this game in more ways than one and what then when he gets bored he drags you into the game literally drags you to hell where he can play with you as always and uh, as his toy i can't get that game out of my computer i think it's stuck there but at least i managed to turn it back on now after i sat there for 25 seconds i heard a voice right behind me like a whisper try to keep this interesting for me tom i turned around to see where the voice came from and i saw what made me scream sitting on my bed staring right at me was a sonic plushie smiling with blood stains under his eyes thank you for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to like this video and subscribe i'll see you in the next video